Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm doing a straight shave today with uh, a new shaving soap to me. This is the TDS Belarusian uh, shaving soap. It's uh, This is the Juniper Evergreen. Evergreen Juniper. Uh, takes me a sec. I don't read Russian real well. But uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it lathers and uh, do a full straight shave. Okay, I've already prepped my brush, loaded for about 35 seconds, so I'll go ahead and get started. All right, I'm also using my um, razor wiper, rubber razor wiper from um, CBL Soaps. So I'll show you guys how that works out today too. Right away, the juniper, wow. The scent just it explodes on your face. Smells amazing. Big fan of the evergreen juniper scents. Fantastic. This may become a Christmas scent for me. I think it could be used year round. It smells fantastic though. I've been using the CBL razor wiper. I've been using it to uh, hold some water for my brush whenever I'm lathering. That way I don't have to waste more water turning on the tap. It's working out pretty nicely, not super fast. I think it needs more water though. Get nice and creamy. I'd say this soap runs a thin line between a soap and a crope. You could move it with your finger when you press on it, but it is a little bit more firm. Oh yeah, the scent is amazing. I think we're just about there. Does like it's water. I would wager bet that I could have bloated for about 20 seconds. Today I'm going to be shaving with a front or an auto from Redhead. It's 
got some good post shave slickness there. Boy, that junior percent really is hanging on. Smells wonderful. I have one complaint with the razor wiper, which is a known factor on a super hollow ground razor. Does not like to take it all off, but that's all right. Doesn't really bother me too much. Except that it can get a little messy. Very nice first pass, very comfortable. Makes me actually think a lot of the new Seaforth by Spearhead, very similar. The scent though, it's fantastic.
Very nice. Very good. This redhead has a really nice edge on it. Recently finished it on my Escher. And it is sharp. Now for me, a lot of times I like to clean up a little bit with my Schick Adjustable. Seeing as how I've found my control with the straight razor across the grain on my neck is not always the best. I prefer not to go across the grain. Very nice. Overall, very happy with the soap. It's fantastic. Switching over to the Schick Adjustable. Uh, it's got a Persona 74 blade in it. I bet you it's on shave 80. I don't know. Really not much to clean up at all. The redhead is very sharp. Very nice. I gotta say, I have to re recommend the TDS. It's fantastic. I'd heard good things, all of them in Russian for the most part. And the razor wiper 
did a fantastic job. Um, I probably run about a quarter of the amount of water I used to run, maybe less. So my method, I always put it on top of my brush soaker. Fits perfectly, never moves. I, I like it a lot. Post shave. Fantastic. Feels great. And I think I'll finish it up, seeing as how it's, I uh, don't know what you would describe it as. I mean, it's not a fougere. It's a, it's a juniper scent. Um, I think I'll finish up with some Brut. Why not? It's been forever. Some vintage Brut 33. I think it's, uh, I think this is 80, early 80s. Can't remember exactly. This is the Fabergé version. It's got the inner stopper on it too. There we go. I only wish that soap had an aftershave. Though, I don't think I'd be able to uh, I don't believe I'd be able to get it, considering it's alcohol-based. It would be alcohol-based, or maybe not. Maybe it's a milk, who knows. All right, guys, it's my shave. As I said, I recommend it. Of course, this is my first shave. I gotta try it a few more times, but thanks. Have a good one.